My name is Manuel Munoz, and I am the author of the short story collection, The Consequences, which will be published by the Indigo Press in mid-October. I am primarily a short story writer, and I write about California's Central Valley, where I was born and raised, far away from the glamour of Los Angeles or the high-tech world of the Bay Area. The valley is rural and agricultural and poor with a large Mexican-American community. I grew up in a farm working family, the valley being a place that harvests every crop imaginable. It's a world of work and longing and family and migration. You, you may not have heard many stories coming out of this region of the world, but one of the reasons I write is to demonstrate that any place can play out sorrow or joy that the smallest of towns can give us the depth and range of human experience just as well as the cities. The 10 stories in The Consequences took about nine years to write, and many of them are based on the experiences of my parents. My father, who came up from Central Mexico as an undocumented teenager, starting when he was about 15 years old, and my mother, who was born in Texas, but even as a citizen of the United States, she never received more than a third grade education. Their stories are humbling and surprising ones to me. They're sometimes spun from anecdotes that remind me that father and mother weren't always their only identities in life. There are also stories of gay men in the valley um, because the queer experience in a rural or an isolated place uh, remains, uh, to me, one that keeps demanding notice. It's a record, it's a testimony that those stories too are being lived, they're being experienced. I hope you uh, share with me a belief that stories carry such great power and possibility in sharing and learning about each other and maybe even transforming. I'm very moved that the editorial team at the Indigo Press responded to these stories with such an embrace. Um, I'll be out here in the desert of Tucson, Arizona, where I live and work, and I look forward to hearing from readers in the UK, and I send you gracias in advance for receiving these stories.